stepping up and stepping forward and offering an option, offering a real contribution to the conversation we're having as Hoosiers to where we want to lead this state, a state that we both love dearly. And I appreciated his words, and I look forward to the next chapter in Dr. Myers' life for him and his wife. And let me also just say, that before our crew starts to celebrate <laughs> safely and creatively, I already know some of the options, the results of this election year, an election year like no other, I have some friends and family to thank, if you'll just indulge me here for just one minute or two. First and foremost to my beautiful bride, Janet. <laughs> who, who no matter how difficult a day might be, the best part of my day every day is coming home to see her. We have, that's true, I'm not, em... I'm not embellishing just because you're here. We have seen and done a lot. And fortunately, we've been able to do it together. And I look around this room and I see a lot of strong individuals, but there is no one stronger than you. And And also, to the rest of my family, my parents, my in-laws, where do I start and where do I stop? As the years go by, I realize just how lucky I have been and M, to have a mom and dad like I do, like to have the family that has brought so much joy and laughter to our lives. Each and every year, come what may, especially my nieces and nephews who four years ago were about waist high and now some of them are already starting to look down on me physically. To my partner, our Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch, we have so much work to do. And I am flat out eager to continue to get her done with you over the next four like we've done this last four. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor, for always putting people first. I also want to say thank you to all the various um, faith leaders who have supplied me with daily doses of inspiration and encouragement along this journey, no matter if we were on a peak or in a valley. I've told each and every one of them that they have the harder job, and I will see their prayers and raise them because of the very people that we serve. To all the employees, and I see some of them here tonight, to all the employees of the state of Indiana up and down the chain who wake up every single day. And their charge is to take it 
to the next level. As Coach Dale says, my team is on the court, and I could not be prouder of the state employees of Indiana. To my cabinet, and I see them here as well, I, as, I am as emotionally moved by your presence and by your efforts as I am of my own family. I didn't trick you when you signed up for this job. Little did we know what 2020 might bring, but my luck, and yes, Indiana's fortune, is what puts a smile on my face, and I, when I think of each and every contribution that you all make, I first thank you for continuing to serve. And welcome back to Decision 2020 here on 13 News. Governor Holcomb has won another term oh, giving his victory speech right now. Let's Voice listen. The, back. the very definition of class, my chief of staff, steady as she goes, but my goodness, full steam ahead. <laughs> and I know you will with the team that we have assembled in the official office. These are men and women that could be doing anything in life, and they too wake up every single day and put others first. Thank you for continuing to serve our state. <laughs> to my campaign manager and very good friend, I don't know where you, there you are, Chairman Kyle Hufford, job well done. I say that as someone who has worn your shoes. I say job well done as in never been done better. We have proven that normal campaigns are just a little bit overrated. <laughs> but somehow, over the last 10, 14 days, we've been able to add a little normalcy into the campaign trail down this final stretch. I was able to get my hair cut at Rex's in Roanoke. I was able to get my corn dogs in, at the Cone Palace up in Kokomo. I was able to get the last cider at the Big Peach in Bruceville. It's, it's right there by Oaktown. I was able to get a slice of apple pie at the Lemon Drop in Anderson. Able to get that famous strawberry shake up at Fair Oaks Farms and make actually some candy canes at the Martinsville Candy Kitchen. And thanks to Sheriff Noel down in Clark County, Indiana, I was able to get some of those famous cinnamon red hots from shrimps in Jeffersonville. Kyle, the team that you assembled Mindy and Huck and Joe and Jake and Holly and Greg and Stephanie and Matt and the field team and all of our county coordinators in all 92 counties who from day one as Governor Holcomb into and this w winning re-election tonight, standing there with his wife, Janet. Yeah, congratulations to Governor Holcomb. You can watch that on our digital platforms. Raced it at the exact time when our state and nation needed it the most. You all should be proud of your work, and I could not be more so. Well, let me just say this. What, what I'm even more proud of is around here in Indiana, we don't just dream big things, we do big things, and we aspire to be a positive influence all along the way. Think about this, over the last four years, Indiana has seen new job commitments go up, wage levels go up, capital investments go up, foreign direct investments, that's called onshoring, go up. In migration, people are moving to the state of Indiana, it's going up. 
the number of back to back to back to back to back to back to back balanced budgets continue to go up. The numbers of years that we've had AAA state credit ratings continues to go up. Our, un our employment goes up while our unemployment goes down. RV production and our ag yields go up. Treatment beds for those who are suffering, struggling with addiction continue to go up. The numbers of Hoosiers who are on the Healthy Indiana plan continue to go up. Adoptions go up. K through 12 funding goes up. All of our Indiana infrastructure advantages, roads, rail, trails, broadband internet connections, ports, both air and water, continue to go up. Building permits continue to go up even during a year with a global pandemic. And all the while, our recidivism rate has gone down. Our infant mortality rate has gone down, Terry. Our overdose death rate has gone down. Ladies and gentlemen, even and especially in a year like 2020, ain't it good to be a Hoosier? Hope and growth and opportunity are alive and well in our state. And knowing that, and knowing that this is the day the Lord hath made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. And whether or not you voted for me or Suzanne, thank you for voting. Let's get busy. Let's get busy helping our neighbors in need, just like all those nurses and doctors and assistants and teachers and law enforcement officials and firefighters and Indiana National Guards, women and men, every time they leave home. They leave home to serve us. Let's get busy by building up our neighborhoods and our neighbors. Let's get busy by proving the truth will prevail against any detachment from any honest mooring. Let's get busy by showing that civility is way more productive than civil unrest. My friends, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's get busy building one Indiana for all. God bless and good night.